Hey guys, King of Charm Managers here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And this is my complete guide for Rathian. All attacks, tips, and tricks. So when in the story do you face Rathian? Well, it's going to be Chapter 9, Bright Lights and Beasts. And you're going to have to do an urgent quest, a royal audience with Rathian. This is going to be towards the end, so at the end of Chapter 9, you have to face a Rathian. And it is a 4-star encounter. Now, this is where you might hit a roadblock if your weapon isn't at grade 4 or you aren't using a Thunder Elemental weapon. Now let's take a look at Rathian's Monster Guide entry. It is a Wyvern species found in forest and desert biomes and its attack elements are Fire and Poison. Its elemental weaknesses are Thunder and Dragon and its breakable parts are the Head, Back, Right Wing, Left Wing and its Tail which can be severed. Here is its useful information. Rathian's tail attacks will do poison damage and be taken away if you sever its tail. Another weakness, go for the head. <laughs> Next we got Rathian's attacks and for its first attack we are reviewing the tail uppercut. Rathian will do a backflip and she will attack you with her tail. And there are two signals for this. On the ground Rathian will turn to you and lower her head. So she's going to lower her head, as soon as she lowers her head, she will do a backflip and hit, try to hit you with your tail. In the air, Rathian will pause and move its head up. As you see on the example, she will move her head up and then she will go ahead and do the backflip tail attack. This is easily dodgeable by rolling to the left or right. And here's a note, if you are hit by this attack, you will take poison damage. And now we have Rathian's second tail attack, which is a tail swing. So you have the shore you can, and then you have the broom. Rathian will swing her tail twice in a sweeping motion, first to the right and then to the left. And here's the signal for it. Rathian will raise her tail before she swings it. You can dodge this by rolling backwards or to the opposite side of the tail swing, and this usually happens if you are behind Rathian. And here's Rathian's running charge attack. Rathian will charge towards you and attempt to ram you with its head. And as one signal, it's really hard to measure. Rathian will slightly pull her head back before she runs forward. As you see, it's very slight right before she rolls. So you can dodge this by rolling left or right. And here's a note, the attack can happen really fast. So as soon as you see red, dodge. Next at number four, we have the bite. It's exactly as it seems. Rathian will try to bite you. And its signal is Rathian will open its jaw like it's about to bite you. See, as you see, it opens its mouth and it tries to take a chunk out of you. You can dodge this by rolling backwards. And at number five, we have the fireball jutsu. Rathian fires a single fireball from its mouth. And its signal is that Rathian will raise its head with a trail of smoke leaking from its mouth. Seriously, this is like the easiest one, the easiest attack to tell that's about to happen. You can dodge this by rolling left or right. And at number six, we have the triple fireball. What's better than one Hadouken, three Hadoukens? Raytheon fires three fireballs in a row from its mouth. And it has one signal. Raytheon will raise its head just like its first fireball attack, but there won't be a trail of fire coming out of it. To dodge this, you need to roll twice to the left or right, and Rathian will shake her head after this move, so you have a small window to attack her. And at number 7, we have my favorite attack, because it's my lucky number, the roar! Not really. Rathian roars and stuns you for a few seconds, and it has one signal. Rathian will take a deep breath before it lets out the roar. Now it's dodgeable, but you need to dodge right before it lets out its roar, and here's a note. If you try to guard a roar with sword and shield, it will knock you back. Last but not least, here's my Rathian tips and tricks. If you're using the bow, aim for its wings. If you're using melee, focus on its head unless you can reach its wing slash tail. It's not really worth trying to break the tail just to take away its poison ability. You will likely kill it before you ever get the chance. And Rathian will sometimes land after using its tail uppercut and it will be vulnerable to a large window of attacks. So after you use its tail uppercut, it will land and then you can wail on it for a little bit. You don't need thunder to take out Rathian, but make sure you have a high grade poison or paralysis weapon. Me personally, I was able to take out Rathian with the Blooming Knife Sword and Shield. I didn't need to upgrade or use any other weapon. And now my complete Wraitholos guide is coming soon. I'm just kidding, I know it's Rathalos. The only reason I say like Wraitholos is because for the longest time when I played the Monster Hunter series games, I didn't realize it. And then when I finally learned its exact pronunciation, I was just like, you know what, whatever. But yes, that Rathalos guide is going to be coming soon. I hope this guide for the Queen of Skies helped y'all out. And with that being said, please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Hopefully this video did really help y'all out, and I will see y'all on the next one.